leadership. I wanted to talk about leadership today. And it was very fitting um, with uh, kind of what, what Curry was saying in reference to choices, right? What I heard him saying, if I were to pick a word, it was being able to have make cho have choices um, and not be dictated by what your bank account says, but you tell your bank account what you're going to do, right? Versus the other way around. Um, and so leadership, when I think about leadership and I think about live good and we talk about diamond, we talk about crown diamond. I know we may have some people who maybe you don't see yourself there just yet, right? And, and that's okay. You stick around this group eventually you'll move through the ranks and it, it'll probably grow on you if you don't give up, right? But there's others of you that you know, you know for a fact you're, you're headed to diamond, right? You know for a fact crown diamond. You know for a fact that once there's so many crown diamonds, whatever the new rank is on top of that, that gets added, you know already you're going for that. You don't even know what it is yet, right? But you know you're going to the top. That requires leadership, okay? And either you're going to develop yourself into a leader um, or you're going to have to find other leaders. But I'm going to be honest, to find and attract other leaders, you have you still have to be the leader. So you're not going to get away from being leader. So I want to give you um, seven things that leaders um, do. This is action, right? Dr. Aaron said, you know, action, taking the action essentially, right? Um, and moving swiftly. So leaders learn quickly, okay? They learn quickly. Now, related to live good, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to learn how to present the information, whether it's in a prospecting, right? Like an elevator, like what Trisha talked about. You gotta learn how to get people on the hook. It doesn't mean you gotta present the whole opportunity, like a Jesse or a Kelly or a Filipino group. Maybe you're not there yet, but you do have to be able to get people on the hook, okay? And that takes leadership to be able to open your mouth and do it. Second thing is leaders constantly, it's an ongoing thing, work on their attitude. They constantly are working on their attitude. They're constantly working on their skills and they're constantly working on their mindset. These are things that are an ongoing thing. Curry talked about, you know, the, the, um, the audio with Earl Nightingale. That's working on your mindset, right? More than not, all right? Trisha talked about working on your skills, right? Dr. Aaron talked about working on the skill of acting as if, doing it anyway, right? That takes a, a certain type of leadership to be able to do it for yourself. Don't even worry about signing somebody up. Like you got to be that person. Third thing is that leaders build relationships, right? Um, and they, in terms of network marketing, we're really talking about building community, family, not leading like a boss, right? You're not sitting on the perch and you know, you're telling the team to go. I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, my team's not going. Okay, sometimes my team wouldn't be, isn't going either, but I'm going to tell you who my team will never be able to say is not going, and that's me, right? Even if they're not going, they're never going to be able to say, well, Tracy's not going either. They'll never say that. They cannot, it, it would be a complete fabrication and lie. So as a leader, you have to constantly be growing, moving, learning, uh, enhancing your skills, so on and so forth, and, and building your, your community. Leaders also consistently share their vision. So that means you have to have one, right? That means you have to have one. Dr. Aaron talks a lot about um, her vision, right? I think setting the captives free. So whatever your vision is, you, you have to have something that you're doing that the other people can fit in. I'm not talking about, oh, you want the house or you want the car. Those are goals. Those are things that you, you should have if you want them. But the vision is something that the people in your live good community can fit in and they can see themselves achieving what they want as a result of contributing to your vision. If your vision is so small that nobody else can fit into it, nobody will buy into it. And if they can't buy into it, they won't act into it either. So just keep that in mind. Um, leaders constantly promote events, right? So we know the event, um, some of the team went to, um, went on the cruise, right? Um, we're planning something for Atlanta here next month, right? We're planning, the group is planning an event in um, Vegas, right? So as things come about, um, leaders are constantly talking about events, whether they're offline events, whether they're the Monday call, the Wednesday call here, the Thursday call, the Friday call, the Saturday call. There's like another Thursday call I was invited to speak on yesterday. I mean, I barely have time for my own team calls because there's other calls that <laughs> they're like, there's no shortage of events is my point. And so nope. all you need to do is just kind of get in the habit of promoting the ones that you 
want to promote, okay? Maybe not all of them, whatever, but you need to get in the habit of doing it because leaders do that. That's what leaders do, okay? Um, last two, leaders constantly stay in phase one. What is phase one? Phase one, and I've talked a lot about this, is constantly being in a position where you are seeking people who could benefit from live good. Right, you are con you are si you are prospecting actively prospecting. You are actively talking to people. What does that mean? That means even if you get to platinum or even if you get to diamond, to go into management mode is the worst thing you could ever do. It is the absolute worst thing. You cannot be a diamond or a platinum or gold. Right, you and you're making the amount of money that is what you want. You want it five hundred bucks. You're at 600 bucks, so you're good. You can't go into management mode because now your team can only go as high as the ceiling that you set, which is 600 bucks. So now nobody's going past you, because not because they can't, it's because you set the lid. And psychologically, they're going to follow that, all right? And so don't go into management mode. Danny Johnson used to talk a lot about you cannot hatch your distributors. Stop sitting on them like mother hens and hoping that they hatch. Let them grow and do, but you got to get out the way and keep moving yourself. And the last thing is that leaders have posture based on where they are going um, versus where they are now. That is critical because some of you, you could look at your bank account right now and like, oh, I don't like that. Okay. You could look at where you're living right now like, oh, I don't like that. You could look at, oh, your relationships with people around you. Oh, I don't like that. The, the growth of your team. I don't like that. You know, oh, the status of my health. I don't like that. You could look at all these different things in the present. You can observe them and you can say, oh, I don't like these things. But a leader says, okay, that's where we are. We got that down, right? Yep. I don't like it. Now let me cast. Let me cast my net into where I'm going and let me move into that energy. And when you're able to do that, what will happen is small little miracles will start to happen. You won't even, you know, you might not even consider it a miracle, but you have to, you have to take a look at, oh shoot, somebody inboxed me today and nobody's ever inboxed you before. That's a freaking miracle when you're focused on where you're going. Now, what you do with that person takes leadership. Okay. But I want you to keep those seven things in mind. And I want you to practice on these actions because these were all actions that I gave you. And I think that if you do that, you can apply that to live good because that's the specific environment we're talking about. But ultimately, you can apply it to you as a person in your life. And as you grow, you will attract bigger organizations, people that have bigger influence, people that have massive amount of people. You never know. You just never know where, where you might be able to, you know, um, dip your dip your um, fishing rod in. So take that, educate yourself, move into leadership, and I'm going to turn it back over to you, Ben.